If you have a home lab, you know the pain of weirdly sized devices. They don't fit, they look messy and mounting them comes down to some zip ties, if at all. But today I will show you a truly universal 3D printed mount that solves this issue. For any device on any rack size, and I mean any rack size. I call it the Unimount. Let me show you how to customize one for yourself. So, how do we actually get these non-standard devices mounted? Before we start though, pause for a second and tell me in the comments, what is the single most annoying device you trying to mount right now? I'm genuinely curious if the Unimount would solve your problem. Also, one quick disclaimer. If your device has screw threads on the side, like this Microtik switch here, you don't need this system. For that, I have a separate generator for customizable rack mount ears. Don't overcomplicate it if you don't have to. But for everything else that doesn't have screw holes, the most straightforward way is to fire up that Maker World customizer and select the tray version. This works like a shelf. You measure your device with height depth, plug those numbers into the customizer and it generates <laughs> and it generates a perfectly fitted cut out. The beauty here is that it's universal. It mounts to any standard 10 or 19 inch rack to give you a clean faceplate. Now, what if your device just doesn't fit a small 10 inch rack? What if you need the full 19 inch standard? The customizer will automatically scale up to 19 inches, but then we run into a hardware limit. Most of us don't have a 3D printer large enough to print a full 19 inch panel in one go. At least I don't. That is why I added a split feature. Actually, I stopped production on this video to go back to the drawing board to add this feature to make the model live up to the video title. Whole other rabbit hole, I can tell you. However, if you check this box, the customizer separates the rack ears from the tray. This lets you print a full-sized rack mount on a standard printer bed and simply snap it together using Home Wrecker's unpatented lock pin mechanism. That said, we're still talking plastics here and shear stress like here might creep into the structure over time, especially with heavier devices. But no worries, we'll talk about a solution to this in a minute. But first, let's reveal the any rack promise. Standard racks are covered now, but at the beginning I said any rack size. This is where Home Wrecker comes in. If you're new here, Home Wrecker is the universal modular rack building system I invented that lets you grow a rack of any dimension. When you commit to this ecosystem, the mount transforms. You can print the bracket variant now. Instead of hanging from the front rack mount, this one sits directly on the frame support bars. It can bear much more load than the tray alone. And it allows you to mount things deeper in the back of the rack, like power supplies where you don't need a pretty faceplate. Even vertically. In the customizer, you will also find options to give the front of a home racker frame a seamless finish or to adapt bracket strength. You find a detailed walkthrough in the comprehensive customization guide. A lot of options to choose from, right? You know what else you can choose? To like, subscribe and hit the bell. That would help me really a lot. By the way, a community member already adapted the original bracket version into a mount uh, for roundish devices. It's really awesome. I've linked their model down in the description. Make sure to give them a proper like. But if you have a different challenge or if you're stuck trying to mount something truly bizarre, come join our Discord. Let's discuss your challenge over there. But now, Time for the end game. Both variants I showed you have different up and downsides. But what if I tell you you can get the best of both worlds? You can take the tray version we started with and place it onto a home wrecker frame. Because the frame supports the weight, you don't have to worry about the plastic sagging. But unlike a fixed bracket, you can still slide the device out for maintenance without disassembling the entire rack. High stability. Easy maintenance, any device, any rack size. That is the power of Home Wrecker. Now, less talky, more showy. Let's look at three different examples. First, this TP-Link switch. I used a 10-inch bracket version. It's great because it leaves room for custom logos. However, by printing it as a split tray variant, you can swap out rack ears in seconds for an easy 10 to 19-inch change. 
Next, my MicroTik switch. I'll admit it, I'm a hypocrite. I printed a massive two unit tray just to show off, but it's honestly overkill. If you actually want to save space, stick to the customizable rack ears I mentioned earlier to keep it at one unit. Finally, the Synology NAS, a 10 inch rack that is very tight fit. So I used a tray version. It maximizes every millimeter of width, letting a full NAS fit where a standard bracket just wouldn't. Check the customization guide for specific edge cases on these tight 10 inch fits. I've also included a version for a 19 inch rack in this video using a split tray, but I wouldn't recommend that for heavy devices like the NAS, as the plastic will sag over time. A much smaller switch like this one shouldn't be a problem though. As always, every model you've seen today is freely available on Maker World. Links are right down in the description. And if this short glimpse of Home Wrecker got you hooked, click here to check out the full introduction to the entire ecosystem. I'll see you over there. Till next time. Consider becoming a member or leaving a super thanks. Bye. Less talky, more showy. <laughs>